Hello, I'm Richard Murphy, and I want to talk about a subject which well, has been part of my whole life, really. I've been a chartered accountant for 38 years at the time that we're recording this, so inevitably accountancy matters to me. And the fact that it doesn't meet the needs of society also matters to me. And I know it doesn't. And I can tell you exactly why it doesn't, and it's because it isn't designed to. If it isn't designed to, it won't. The accounting standards that we've got that set rules by which all accounts are produced by all companies who must put their information on public record for us to see, and therefore are the accounts that we're interested in, are prepared subject to rules that are created by accountants themselves that say the only thing that matters when preparing a set of accounts is the interests of the shareholder in the company. Now this is really quite absurd because quite clearly that isn't true. It isn't true for a number of reasons. First of all because actually in very many companies we don't know who the shareholders are. For example if a company is owned very largely by pension funds the company will have no clue who those pensioners are and what their interests are. So it has to make up the belief that they're only interested in maximising profit at cost to everyone else. But the pensioner, of course, will also be an employee. The pensioner will also be a consumer. The pensioner will also live somewhere and be worried about the impact of companies upon their community. The pensioner may well be worried about how the company is going to adapt to be sustainable for the sake of themselves, their children or their grandchildren. But the company assumes that none of those things matter. It assumes that the only thing that matters is the maximisation of profit for that person in their one role as an investor in the company. And that's true, for example, also of the assumption that is made for a small company. And in the case of a small company, I know very large numbers of people who've created companies who really don't have an interest in making maximum profits, but do have an interest in lifestyle choice, or are passionate about the product they want to make, or want to work in a particular way with a particular group of people without having over concern about increasing their income to the maximum possible degree. So accounts are focusing on something which simply isn't true. Actually, accounts should be talking about what people are interested in. And who are people? in this context? Well, the people who accounts need to talk to are the various groups who are likely to have an interest in a company. So, who are they? Well, of course the investors matter. Nobody's disputing that. And nobody's disputing that profit is important because profit generates cash and cash is essential for the survival of a business. But there are also the trading partners of a business who have information needs. How good is this company at paying, for example? Because if they aren't, do I want to trade with them? There's the employees, who of course are interested in the affairs of the company because in many ways they're the biggest risk takers in any single economic activity because they've got all their eggs in one basket. That company provides the whole of the, their well-being. For many investors, that's completely untrue. So employees want to know how many people are employed, what's the average pay, where are people employed, does the pay rate differ between the various countries in which a company might work, and so on. Who else is interested? Well, civil society is. That's you, that's me. If a company is, for example, producing chemicals that are going to poison the atmosphere, we want to know where it is, what it's doing about it, how it can be controlled and regulated and so on. So we need to know for all sorts of reasons what companies are getting up to in the communities where we are. And other people need to know that information too. Regulators on behalf of government and lastly, but by no means least, a tax authority also needs to have good quality accounts to make sure it can work out what's happening inside a company to ensure that the right tax is paid in the right place at the right time. That's their goal. None of that information apart from the return to investors, is the priority in accounts at present. As a consequence, accountancy really isn't talking to the needs of society. And that's got worse for the longer that I've been a chartered accountant. I believe the quality of the accounts that we have now are worse than at any time in my career. And we can see the consequence. 
There are audit failures, large companies failing, despite issuing accounts that claim that they're profitable, and people losing money as a result, as well as large numbers of jobs. If accountancy isn't meeting the needs of investors, let alone anyone else, it's in need of reform. And over the coming weeks and months, one of the themes of these videos is going to be accounting reform. Because unless we meet the needs of society by providing accounts that offer, give us a true lens, a way of looking into the operation of the companies who produce value in our communities, then we're not going to understand how our economy has got to adapt to face the challenges that are coming our way. I'm Richard Murphy. If you want to see more videos on this theme, please click the subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter at Richard J. Murphy. Look at my blog, Tax Research UK, and I'll be talking about this again soon. Cheerio.